Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing great. So around a year back, I had made a video where I used ChatGPT to solve CoachForce's problems. And the result was pretty disappointing. It could not solve any difficult problem. It could only solve the easiest and the easiest of problems, right? But one year fast forward, today we're at a level where O3 has come out. You might have seen the news. In the O3 preview, we're seeing it top the charts. We're seeing it go off the roof, blowing through the roof, and it is achieving great heights. Pretty much on the claims right now, we don't have access to it, we cannot test it right now. But on the claims, that is what is getting claimed to be. Now, I'm a competitive programmer myself and I'm an expert on code forces. And when I saw the results, when I saw the rating it could achieve, I got scared for a second. And let me show you why. You're able to see this graph, right? This is the results of the different models of ChatGPT. And you can see the sudden increase in the O3. You can see the sudden increase. It's going from here to here. And if you focus on the rating, it is 2700 plus. Now that is the red dominion. That is the area of the red coders. So if you don't have idea about ratings, let me give you a bit of an idea. So you start off at newbie and then you move to pupil. Newbie and pupil is the area where majority of the people are. And many people are not able to go past this. Okay. Even though it's not that difficult, but still many people are not able to go past it. So you have newbie, you have pupil, you have specialist, you have expert. Then you have candidate master, master, IM, and then you move into the red domain, which is like the top of the top of the playing field. Now, for reference, our beloved YouTuber and our beloved DSM mentor, Striver, is a candidate master. So, 2700 plus is red coded dominion, and there's only like around 200 people who are like, you know, 2700 plus rated. So, that is the level that it's being claimed to achieve. Okay. But... There are a few catches. So before going all into panic mode and getting anxious, worrying that again, AI will take our jobs, things like that, the usual stuff. There, there are some things that we don't know of that we aren't sure of. So let's check them out. And I'll also do one thing before the end of the video, I'll do something interesting. I'll take the uh, older AI model that I used one year back, the same AI model I'm going to use now and use it on code forces problems and see if, if there's been any improvement or not in the older model and we're going to see that as well. But before we do that, let's check something out, okay? So I saw this article that I'm showing you guys, GPT-03 can become a red coder. This has been posted by a legendary grandmaster. Speaking of legendary grandmaster, I really think that within the next five years, we might see AI becoming a legendary grandmaster as well. In fact, in the next coming years, it might happen that AI will beat all of the human computer programmers and we might see AI model beating tourists himself, you know, we never know. There's been news coming out like crazy. The progress has been insane. All right. So a lot of people are talking about it, things like that. But one comment caught my eye. And this is a comment that I wholeheartedly agree with because I've used O1 model as well. Okay. So I don't have it in this system, but I have used O1 model. And let me show you guys. So let's check a couple of comments out, which I felt was right or which I felt I could relate to. So the person is saying OpenAI is lying. They bought one month of O1. It's near, not nearly 1900 rating. It is as bad as me. I think they lie on purpose because they are burning a lot of money and they want people to buy their model. Okay. So this is something I've also felt while using O1. I've used O1 in the past. I have O1 as well, which, you know, is not as good as it is claimed to be. If you use O1, it's only able to solve problems that are Googleable. Whenever a new problem comes, even if it's an easy problem, it is not able to solve. So certainly O1 is not at the level that an expert or a candidate master will be, which is its supposed rating, right? So it is not able to solve even div 2 c sometimes, which is what an expert or a candidate master should be able to solve. Okay, so O1 is not on the same rating that it's claimed to be. So might be that O3, the right now model, might not be on the same level as a red coder. It might be a little bit below. Still, it will be progress from O1, but it might not be the same level that it's claimed to be. So this is something that I have personally felt as well, that O1 is not on the same level that it should be, given on the rating that was hyped up about it, right? One more comment was, about, uh, was from Koho Saga. So he also said that he recently subscribed to O1, the pro version, in the hype of clearing out some undesirable problems. And he got skeptical that the AI is even close to 1600. Same thing, he's also saying that it can solve some known problems, which probably some Googling will also do. So if there's a known concept, if there's a logic which is out there, then he's able to do that. 
but whenever there's something which you have to think of as a competitive programmer then it is having difficulty in that and most probably you'll have to do a lot of back and forth with it to tell it you know that hey it's failing in this test case hey it's failing in that test case and then it will be able to come to the right approach but then again we have some people who say that they have o1 pro mode and they have seen o1 clearing 1600 to 1700 rated problems probably after a little bit of back and forth but i myself have not seen o1 so i guess different people are having different results also because the result may not be the same for everyone using o1 but we can say that it's not at the exact level it's supposed to be it's slightly lesser okay and for some people even more lesser like not on the same level that it is when i was using o1 i was very impressed by it not gonna lie especially for development for development perspective it is out of the world o1 right it is 100 percent worth every penny but for problem solving I could not see it being that good. So now let's do something interesting before going to the conclusion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same model that I used one year back, the free version, and we're going to use it right now and see whether there's been any improvement or not. So let's use that model and take a code forces contest. And if you want to see me use O1 in solving a code forces contest then let me know in the comments, I'll show you guys how O1 is against the code forces contest, what kind of rank it will achieve. But for now, just for fun, Based given that it's been one year since my last video, let's use the same model to solve code process problem to see whether it's improved, degraded, and how's the same. All right, so one minute we're going to have to wait. I remember going through this in college, this was the most panicky, anxious, uh, you know, last one minute. All right, so we'll have chat GPT open right here. We're going to code in C, we're going to ask to code it in C, and then we're going to just take the solution, paste it and see how well it is able to perform. Remember, this is the older model. This is not the latest model. This is the older model, the same model that I had tested one year back. All right, so let's wait for a while. All right, here we go. Let's open the first problem. Let's copy the problem, send it to ChatGPT. Give code in C++ below our test cases. Let's give it the test cases as well for the benefit of the doubt. Input, output. All right, here's the C++ solution. Let's check it out, let's check it out, let's check it out. All right, that was pretty quick. Let me copy this. Problem A, G++. Compilation error, end of input. Oh, probably I didn't copy it correctly, no worries. <clears throat> Wrong answer in test one. All right, let me copy paste this and let's see if it can make any improvement. All right, so there hasn't been much improvement in the older model, I guess, as far as I can see, it is still on the same disappointing level, even though it claimed to at least be on a certain level, but 
I'm not seeing it. Let's try another problem. Maybe it's the problem that is having issues in. Again, give code in C++. Let's give it the input output. Input. And then output. Solve it. So it's editing the same code. That's nice because there's only one code editor. No, got it. All right. Here we have the code. Here we have the explanation. Let's go. We just copy it from here. <clears throat> nope. The older model are still pretty bad. It is still not on the level that it should have been. Let me say the test cases. I'm passing that I sent over. There we have it. So the older model that was free to the public, that is free to the public, is still not on the same level that even an average or a below average computer programmer will be. And I cannot see any improvement. In fact, I can see that there might have been a degrade because one year back it was able to solve problem A in at least div 2A, right? This is div 2A and it's not able to solve it. So there might have been a degrade as well. Now comes the main part, what should we do? Should we be worried? Should we be stressed? What should we do? Uh, someone even asked me, Ki, shall I leave computer programming now that there's been right coders by AI? So no, I don't think you should leave anything. You should be on the path that you were on. These kind of news will keep on coming. Like I mentioned, in the next five or 10 years, you might hear news that AI will become a legendary grandmaster. These kind of news will keep on coming. There has been huge and insane progress in the world of AI. But that should not deter you from the path that you are on. Be good in problem solving, upskill yourself, get more knowledge because the world is always going to need good software engineers. Okay, the demand of good software engineers is going to be there. Even if it's lesser, it is going to be there. So be on the path that you're working on. It's very impressive. Take it as a good news because we're seeing technology in the world of AI. We're seeing what AI is capable of and more most probably will be using AI in our day to day life, you know, to make our life more convenient. Yes, there is going to be some effect in jobs. There is going to be a, there's going to be some issues, right? But that is something that we cannot do anything about. So just focus on what you were doing, become the best version of yourself. Keep on grinding, keep on doing what you were doing, be the best version of yourself and yeah, get your dream job. That's something that you need to do as fast as you can. Upskill yourself and get your dream job. All right. Don't worry about such news. Take it in a light sense, take it in a positive sense, take it in a fun sense. That's all we can do. All right. So that's all that I wanted to say. I just saw this news last night. I wanted to make a video. So I just hurriedly made this video. I didn't plan a script or anything. But yeah, if you want me to use O1 or O3 in the future against Code Forces Contest, let me know in the comments. As soon as it comes out, I'll get it and I'll try to make videos with it, solving Code Forces problems. So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.